In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to collect insects using a black light. I'll introduce you to a new assistant joining the team and show you guys the cool insects I was able to find using this technique. So before I get into this episode, I wanted to show you guys this wall is the Insect Hunter Wall of Fame. So this is a wall where I'm going to be placing pictures of different insects or spiders or arachnids or things like that that you guys have collected. Um, right now I've just got pictures from my friend Erin Maxson. Here's her uh, Flickr here, you can check her out. She's got some awesome photography. But I'll be including this in my episodes and it'll be a chance for me to showcase some of the work of viewers like you contributing to this show. I know it's not PBS, but you guys are contributing and you will, hopefully. Um, so what's gonna happen is you guys can go into the form um, down in the description. There's a link to the form so you can submit your pictures to be added up here onto the wall. And uh, you can also find that link here. Just type this into your browser. And then what I'm gonna do is each episode, I'm going to pick a picture um, from a user and I'm going to add it to my wall. So I'll actually print off the picture and I will add it to the wall. This first one, I'm not adding one because I'm just introducing the concept to you guys. But this is a chance for you guys to showcase your work, some of the insects you've found. And I'm excited to see what you guys send into us because I'm excited to add and incorporate you guys even more into the channel because insects are so awesome and I'm glad that so many of you are out there collecting and. Um, finding insects and uh, taking great pictures. So I'll be excited to see what you guys find. Uh, make sure and fill out that form and let's jump into the episode. So since it's gonna be very dark at night and kind of hard to see everything, I figured I'd show you guys how I set it up before we actually get into testing it out here in my backyard. So just here in my backyard, I have taken just a white sheet. I think this is a cotton-based sheet. I don't think the material matters so much, but you wanna have a white sheet. Other than that, you're gonna need a black light or an ultraviolet light. I've got two of them here. I just attached them to these two by twos that I cut kind of to make a little stand to give it a little extra height so it's not right on the ground. You'll need a power source to connect these two so that you can power the lights. And then these, we're gonna put right there next to the sheet or pretty close to it. Those are going to shine their light on the sheet, which is gonna reflect it since it's white. And at night that is going to attract a whole bunch of insects. A few things that I did different with this is I I got these chairs and I attached them to the sheet so that it doesn't blow away. You can see there's kind of a, a bit of wind kind of pushing it that way. So you do wanna be prepared for the wind. So I just attached that with some clothes pins and that seems to work pretty good. So the chairs definitely help too because you might be sitting here waiting for a while to find some interesting insects. Just maybe glancing over every once in a while to see what you've got. This type of setup is the same that you would do if you wanted to go do this in the wilderness. It's a bit more work trying to get power out there. You have to bring a generator or some sort of large power bank system. Um, it's more of a challenge. So I'm just gonna be doing it here. One of the things I've got with me that I'll be using tonight is these jars, you could use glass or plastic. I just like the plastic. This is what I'm gonna to use to capture some of the live specimens tonight. In case this is difficult to see at night, I'll show you what I will do. You'll basically take the cup and you're going to place it over the insect and then you're going to quickly slide your plastic on top of that. That's what you're gonna to wanna to do. I also have with me uh, one of my pop-up rearing cages, uh, just so if I catch some cool insects, I can throw them in there, keep them alive for a while. The main types of insects that I'm expecting are beetles, moths, and a few other different types of flying insects like midges, stuff like that. But we'll see what we can find tonight. I'm super excited to find out with you guys. So it's just about nighttime. I decided to change my setup just a little bit. Um, you can start to see kind of the, the black light a little bit. Um, I've decided to switch to a vertical sheet rather than a horizontal. That way then most of the light is getting captured on the sheet itself. So um, insects should be showing up any minute now. So as you can see, we're starting to get lots of midges and um, a lot of activity from some of these small insects. Seems like there's a lot of insects just landing straight on. Right here by the light. It's pretty interesting. A moth keeps flying around, hitting into things quite a bit. Ooh, 
baby. That is what we like. Ten line June beetle. That is awesome. They are one of my favorites. Headed towards the light. When this thing, you can hear him making the noise. And they're quite loud flyers. Too. Here, Billy, let me see. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> I wonder how well you could hear that. That was pretty cool. Came and flew at me. Millie is having a blast. Make sure he doesn't get away. Okay, so. Millie, look. Maybe he's climbing on my pants. Get him, Millie. Where is he? Cats are so much fun. So funny. Can I get you? <laughs> She's getting distracted by her tail. <laughs> Millie, right here. Oh, she is purring. She's loving this. Are you trying to eat him? I think she's eating him. You are the true insect hunter. Did you eat it? No, you're just chewing on it? <laughs> she just thinks it is the greatest toy ever. I have no clue where it is, but she has kept a hold of it this whole time. Okay, we're gonna save you so I can show you off in the morning. If another one comes, Millie can play with it, but I wanna save you to show folks what you look like. That was pretty dang awesome. Just hearing that thing make that loud thud as it just hit into the um, hit into the sheet. Millie is still trying to figure out what's going on with it, but she's my little uh, insect hunting companion. Right here, we got ourselves a little ladybug up at this late at night. Probably be asleep. While her children are asleep. I'm surprised she's up this late. Did you find another one, Millie? Oh, this one's yours. Good job, good find. This one is yours. There you go. Get that thing. You get to play with this one. Never thought that having a cat with you, running a black light, would actually be helpful. I mean, she's helping pin these guys down so they can't fly away, and uh, she's spotting them when I can't even see them. So she is perhaps the true insect hunter. So instead of using a dog, maybe cats are the way to go. Uh, she's having too much fun with that thing. Oh, we got another one. Awesome, Millie, we're getting more. Where's the other one? There it is over here. Hey, Millie, I'm going to beat you. Oh, it's two for me and one for Millie. I'm finding more than you, Millie. You can't beat me. Millie, come look over here. I feel like there's one over here somewhere. Come, look over here. Help me find it. Where is it? Is that in here? 
Where is it? Get it. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. That is oh, two for Millie, two for me. Good girl. There it is right there. It's hard to see. Oh, Millie, get it. I got it. She's going after the ones in the container now, too. So everything's pretty quiet right now as far as insects. Um, there are people lighting fireworks because it's close to the 4th of July. But um, about every four or five minutes is when I've been having these guys pop up. So we'll see if any more show up. Millie has decided to go run around and chase some sticks or something. I don't know. Cats, right? <sighs> All right. Well, it's a new day and I can show off these awesome 10 line June beetles to you guys. So let me go ahead. We got them in here. There they are. I'm gonna pull a couple of them out and I'll show them off to you guys. These guys are beautiful scarab beetles and uh, one of my favorites here in Idaho. And they actually make this, they make the sound by um, moving their wings. They kind of rub them. They're kind of rubbing their wings like this right here. They're quite strong for an insect, that's for sure. Really chill. So. I'll teach you guys a little bit about beetles with these guys and kind of how their wing structures work. This is a great example. So beetles, all insects have two pairs of wings, at least the adults. If they have wings, they're going to have two pairs. Um, so these have modified their top wing to be an elytra, so it's a hardened shell. So this right here is extra hard, extra bulky, and then they fold up their wing underneath there. So what they're doing is they're giving up their ability to have stable flight and to fly well in order to have the extra protection for their wings. So its wings fold up like that and they're extra protected. But they're sacrificing the ability to fly well like a lot of other insects. A lot of people here in Idaho think these will get stuck in your hair and they freak out about them. Which, I mean... They just land in your hair because they're not very good flyers. But it's not like they're trying to go after your hair, which some people might believe. It's holding on pretty tight, this one, which I believe is a male. Its wing's kind of folding out right there. The back wing. using its abdomen to kind of push it in see it was able to fold it in there just by moving its abdomen and moving the elytra it wasn't using its feet at all it was able to fold it back up so they're not the best of flyers but their wings definitely have a good utility they're just going for a general area so if it so if it's going for a flower it might get within three or four feet of the flowers kind of the general feel that I've gotten for scarab beetles in their flight they're just not that great at flying Excited to be alive. These don't survive very long, otherwise they'd be great pets, but the larvae are what you need to feed and take care of for a while. And it's elytra is very it's very smooth, but it's definitely much more durable than typical wing of an insect, obviously. Here we go, we'll see if they want to talk to each other before I let them all go. You guys want to talk? Anything to tell each other? That's for sure. See how it's kind of raising its legs out like that? I don't know if it's getting ready to fly or what that behavior is. It's kind of interesting. Spread those legs out and Maybe it's calling in a female, I'm not sure. They definitely have kind of a stress call. When I sit and pick them up and tap them. Sounds different than what this one's doing. If any of you guys know what that behavior is, I'd love to know. There's just so much insect behavior that I don't fully understand yet. 
It almost looks like when a tick is trying to scout, which is where a tick will stick out its legs and it's reaching out waiting for something to walk by and then it latches on and grabs onto them. So I don't know if it's trying to grab onto something or move or what it's doing. This one right here, it's a bit, quite a bit darker, the coloration, that's kind of cool to see. A little bit darker color. One cool thing about these guys is on the underside, they're actually really hairy. I didn't even show you guys that. Pretty cool to look at. It almost looks like a little beard or something underneath there. Nice and hairy. Almost like, it almost looks like a little uh, fur coat under there that they've got. Two. Ooh, that one took off down towards the ground. Ooh, you guys are pretty cool. Whoa, that one just blew, flew off. <laughs> okay, well thank you guys for watching the video. Again, if you want to participate, this is gonna be an ongoing part of the channel now. If you want to submit photos of insects that you have taken, go into the description of the video and click the link or type in this link into your browser so that you can submit a photo. Um, I'm gonna pick one per episode that I'll add to the wall and once it's added to the wall, it should stay there indefinitely as long as I'm still working here in this office. And uh, just always watch to the end of each episode to see who got their picture added up to the wall of fame. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and uh, make sure and click the bell so you're notified of the next time an insect hunter video comes out. I know I've been off for a little bit, but um, I'm back and I'm alive. Um, COVID-19's around, so I'm a little slow on some of the things. I've got other projects going on, but I'm gonna keep trying to produce content for you guys as much as possible. So thank you guys for tuning in and join us next time where big adventures start small. Thanks for watching.